JP Morgan and Bloomberg are incredible partners across the globe. We're two huge international firms that share very similar views on our corporate social responsibility. Also, the footprints that we both have across the globe means that we have an ability to have an impact together. Tonight was a unique moment where we all kind of came together and had the opportunity to all focus on the problem of social mobility. And my hope is that tonight is one night among many where we get to exchange ideas and build relationships to solve these problems together. Social mobility is about helping young people particularly make good choices in their lives. So your background shouldn't determine what you choose to do. We know that social mobility is low in countries like the UK and the US, and that means your background determines what you do in life more than whether you work hard or your talent. So we know that we're missing out on lots of talent in our populations. So I think nations are increasingly looking at this not just as a social issue, but an economic one as well. Recently there have been so many questions about how AI and machine learning should be used and could be used. We've always felt is that actually there is not enough AI and there's not enough machine learning. Um, and in particular there's not enough AI and machine learning um, for purposes of enriching our society. Bloomberg's Immersion Fellow Program uh, it takes graduate students in some of their early years and embeds them into nonprofits for a few days. And in those few days, they make a substantial impact into the nonprofits by telling them how they can apply data science. It's been an incredibly good model for how to engage nonprofits and the academic sector. We hope to bring it across the world soon. Another model that has been very effective in bringing nonprofits and data science together has been the workshop program that we have through the Data for Good Exchange, where we have people come together and work on a particular problem uh, in the context of this workshop. With the program that JP Morgan supports, the Money House, it's aimed at young care leavers, those that are just about to leave local authority care. So by definition, they don't have the family network and they're going out to live on their own. We see financial capability as underpinning well-being and that underpins the opportunities to advance in social mobility. So we do that by the use of data, by the use of evaluation and frankly by working with the young people themselves and following up with their lives to see if it's made a difference. There is a holistic approach to social mobility but money is central and I would say to those organisations that want to help, please concentrate on interventions that have evidence of impact. What we should be all engaged on is to transform all our experience, all the people we know, all these cases, into the language of the computers, and then engage people that know about computing to analyze these. Humans are producing more data every day, and computers have the potential to look at that data. Symbolic data, behavior data, text data, image data is to develop the AI algorithms. And so computers need to be able to bring benefits to humanity. The thing about data that excites me is that we could develop a more personalized approach to how we support young people. So at the moment, we've got general programs that seem to work for some children. I think what, what data could provide, more data could provide for us, is better ways to know who to help and then what to do with them. I think that would be amazing. It would be possibly revolutionary, actually, in terms of social mobility. The panel, I thought, was incredible because it covered a vast array of topics with also a really different set of opinions. But we've got to be realistic. We need to continue investing. We need to hold many more events like this. We need to start showing people more practical examples of how this can affect them. And then make sure people come on that journey with us. Through programs like this, it can open up massive advantages, but also turn education into a key of the future.